good getting internet. I'm gonna be trying a couple things different on this encode. Let's, we'll see how well it works. Um, welcome back to Might and Magic 6. I have changed up a few things. I have a new monitor that I'm using, and it looks very strange because with the way I have the monitor set up. I basically have a middle panel, which is what you're seeing over there, that's acting like a virtual middle monitor, and two monitors flanking it on this display. I have an ultra wide now, so it looks kind of like I'm running this in a window, except I'm not. So on my side, it looks really neat. Uh, second thing I'm doing is that I've upped the bitrate and brought this up to 1440p60. I wanted to see if I can even tell the difference. Um, so this is going to be a really, really freaking huge video for me to upload. But, you know, if there's a quality difference, I don't, YouTube does compression weird. And I'm hoping this might be able to alleviate some of the snow problems that we were having. Anyway, let's get to... Back to Castle Ironfist. So, um, what were we doing other than the fact that we're saintly? We're only... We're pretty close to being able to... Was it saintly or... I think saintly is the highest level of reputation now. I'm trying to remember. It might not be a bad idea for me to try to go master um, light magic as soon as possible. Uh, let me double check really fast. Do, 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 do. Magic Master MM6. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it's saintly reputation's a requirement, and it's in the eel infested waters. It's not a bad idea for me to go do that now, now that I think about it. Um, how am I doing on light magic? Oh, right, I haven't even bought light magic, have I? Nope. So I'm gonna have to level up first anyway. Um, you know, let's go ahead and buy light magic right now. So Light Magic, the basic guild, is located in Silver Cove. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to restore my magic points. All right, so let's go ahead and grab Light Magic, which is right here. No, here. Right, need membership first. Membership was pretty close, if I remember correctly. Wasn't it like right here or something? That's right, this is Silver Cove, land of no building actually has people in it. Hey, good to see you. All right, I know I've stumbled across the Light Magic Master one, or Light Magic Teacher once already. Also, from now on, we're just going to be flying constantly. I know it can be dangerous to fly when you're here. I noticed in a test run that I didn't have any horseshoes from this place, so I've alleviated that problem. Throw up Wizard Eye as well while I'm at it. Your water master. Your merchant. Cartographer. Barrister. Tracker. Arms master. Porter. Oh yeah, what day of the week is it? Tuesday, okay. So there's only one day a week that you can get to the eel infested waters, and you can only get there via, um, this is the teacher, yeah. Uh, you can only get to the eel infested waters via boat. It is not possible to get there in any other way in this game. Where the heck are you? Also, while I'm here, let's go ahead and find some enchantable steel. Ooh, I might just buy that, even though it's not enchantable, but that's really nice. That's definitely being bought. I'm pretty sure that's enchantable, and I need a shield anyway. I finally remembered that. All right, let's go ahead and transfer the enchantable things over. That's cell bait. This is stuff that should go in her inventory. You do not need that many flowers. At some point between episodes, I'm probably just going to... Um, I'm probably just going to actually make the black potions. I'll record a little bit of it, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Also, I can use some daggers. I need to remember that as well. 
Okay, already a ready spell. Let's get the armor first, since that's where I'm staring at, standing at. Oh, I just did the same armor twice. Good job, me. Uh, so one thing I don't like about this particular setup is I'm constantly looking like I'm looking down. It's because the monitor is a lot closer to me, so you can tell when I'm looking up versus down. Um, oh, that isn't high enough. I thought it was. I was wrong. You're just going to hold on to that for now. I guess shields have a much higher... Wrong character. Uh, shields have a much higher level before you can enchant them. Okay, so that's Salvate. That's Salvate. That's some really nice armor. Ah, but that's better. Sorry. Intellect plus eight. That could be rather nice. What do you have? You are definitely going to grab the intellect plus eight instead. Although I kind of think I want you to grab that thing of the unicorn. Okay, so. We're getting that. That's going to get sold. And then we're going to buy the thing of the unicorn. Because, seriously, that is perfect for an enchanter. Um, let's see. Thing of the Unicorn. Equip. Now I have two people who are regenerating magic, which is good. Let's go ahead and sell things back. I think I broke even. Let's find out. So I'm just going to load stream save 14 really fast. See how much money I have. Nope, I haven't broken even. I'm down 3,000. But 3,000, given that I got a really nice pair of gauntlets, is pretty good. So what I should be doing is buying and then selling by a town portal. But unfortunately, I'm lazy. Oops. Did not mean to hit that. Expert spear training. No thank you. Farmer, Bard. All right, Abdul's discount weapons. What do you got? Those are enchantable, but I already have one. Is that enchantable? I don't remember. Well, it's not a huge amount of money. I'll go ahead and buy it. I don't have my notes handy. Which is unfortunate. I know that's enchantable, and that's 300. That's definitely enchantable. Those are not. And nobody likes the club. The king of the club family! So I know at least two of those are enchantable. Are you? You are enchantable. Hooray. I thought it was 250. What do I have? 1d6 points of fire. Nope. 2d5 electrical. 1d6 fire. Nope. None of these enchantments are any good. Okay. I really like this particular animation version. Just because of the voice and... Also, if you haven't noticed, everything in Silver Cove is Abdul's discount insert thing here. Became a running a joke. It was a running joke for one of my role-playing campaigns for a while. Uh, your stuff sucks. Steel boots were not enchantable, and it's armored boots. Eh, give it a shot. I know night gauntlets weren't. Oh, that also means that. That's not enchantable then, because that's the same value and they're the same type of item for my magic sixes per press. Right, you're at the Earth Guild. I've already been through here, but I'm walking through here anyway. Um, are you one of the ones on the outer side? Potter. So, 
Um, this is a quest I needed to pick up anyway. Cedric Druthers and his Celestial Order have taken over the Monolith, an ancient place sacred to Druids. Their dark rituals are corrupting the Monolith and need to be stopped. Whatever the altar they use at the center of the ceremonies needs to be defaced. So you're going over there to go spray paint an altar. Hello. Guild of Self-Membership, so next door is the one I want to do. Hello. Oh, Mass Distortion, by the way. Um, this is the only Earth Magic spell that's of any good whatsoever. Basically, it drops somebody's hit points by a percentage. Which is great against really big monsters like dragons and so on. Except it counts as magic damage, so it doesn't affect dragons. This is why I don't like earth magic. It's because it's still not very good. Hello. You're the light magic expert. How are you? There's like it. Okay. Now that we're members of the Light Guild, it's not too late. That's good. Light Guild's over here. Alright. Let's see what we can pick up. Day of the Gods. Yes, please. Destroy Undead. That would have been really nice in the previous dungeon. It basically just does a crap ton of damage against Undead. Which, I suppose I don't have that many ranks of light right now. I would only have one. Dispel Magic. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, this does absolutely nothing in this game. Because no creature in Might Magic 6 casts a spell on themselves. 7 and 8, on the other hand, Dispel Magic's great. Create food. Um, it's a really expensive way of getting food. I have so much food that I don't care. Uh, Golden Touch. This is a way of getting money without having to go up to town. And there is actually a way in Might Magic 6 to convert an item to above 80% and actually above 100% value. And the reason why is that this counts as loot for purposes of what money that you get. So rather than merchant skill, which increases the amount of money you can get from an item, this, a banker and a factor, which increase the amount of money that you receive from loot, would actually increase this. So... You could, in theory, Golden Touch to get something over 100% value. I decided against going this route, because it's a rather expensive spell, and I'm going to be using my magic a lot. It's certainly valid, though. I don't want to imply that it's not. So the only spell I have here that I even want is Day of the Gods. Um, I'm just going to pick up everything and then reload. To see what I'm missing. Oh, right helps if I... Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Light magic. So I'm missing this spell here. I know that's not Hour of Power. Hour of Power is a higher level spell, isn't it? Also, this voice actor totally sounds like um, Michael Dorn. I don't know if it is. Slow. That's the spell that's in the way. Slow is also one of those spells that doesn't actually work in this game. So, the only one of these spells I even want is Day of the Gods. There we go. Alright. I'm done with Silver Cove for now because I don't particularly want to be here. Um... Although, I'd have to Guild of Self sounds like a good idea. Let's see, what can I get? Cure Disease, I don't have right now. Uh, cure Poison, I do have. Mind Blast, I have. Cure Disease, I just picked up. Mind Blast, Cure Poison, Cure Wounds, Protection Poison, Remove Curse, Bless, and Remove Curse. That was a pretty terrible roll. Let's try that again. That's a better roll. Feeble Mind. So, this spell, in theory, should... Silence somebody. I'm going to try this because so something I remembered from Mass Curse is that it only works half the time on PCs, so I have no idea what would happen on an NPC. So I'm going to pick up Feeble Mind as an experiment. Mass Fear, if I remember, it actually does work in this game. Heroism, I have. Protection Poison, I have. Guardian Angel, I have. Bless, I have. Feeble Mind, I just picked up. Turn Undead. Hmm. Could be useful. Cure disease I'm picking up. Uh, 
Uh, sure, I'll pick up turn undead. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. So now I have all of the body magic other than what I need to go to a dedicated body guild for. I have all of the mind magic except for what I need to go to a dedicated mind magic guild for. And I have all the spirit magic except for what I need to go to a spirit magic guild for. So, that's nice. How are you? You're a locksmith. Go oh, the locksmith. Um, I don't want oh. to go visit um, her yet. I want to do the light magic master first. So, um, I'm done here. Where was I planning on going? Um, I want to do more in white cap, but I think actually what I want to do is beacon back to Castle Iron Fist again. And let's clear out the rest of Castle Iron Fist. There's stuff here still. Um, was it the other? Or was it this portal? No, this is just destination, right? Okay. Again, I know that this area respawns as part of it, like a trap-like thing, but I'm not seeing it actually do so. Uh, you are not the type of Ba I want to try this on. You are, though. People mind you. Okay, you're feeble-minded. You shouldn't be able to cast spells anymore. Let's kill everybody else. You... They have ten hit points. Come on! I guess I don't have heroism up. Or eight... Or nine hit points, actually. So, they should be casting a spell, and they're not. That, to me, says Feeble Mind is actually working. That's a shrine for later on. So, Feeble Mind actually works. Interesting. That could be really useful on certain types of enemies. So, the patch does fix some of these things. That's great. So I'm basically just going to finish clearing out Castle Iron Fist at this point. Uh, just die already, please. I'm going to keep that one alive to see how long it actually lasts. Because I have a hunch it actually lasts until I leave. It's already stopped. Okay. It must be like minutes equal to points of skill. What does it actually say? Five minutes per point of skill, and I only have four ranks in mind magic, so that makes sense. So yeah, status effects actually work. Ha! Huh. That's new. I approve. And yes, I know that these enemies are worth next to nothing, and it's barely even worth my time picking them up. There's the spawn. I wonder what is actually triggering it. My kingdom for Starburst right now. Wait, don't I actually have Starburst? No. Okay, first off, you're gonna die first because you're the most annoying. Then comes the Mystic of Ba. Then comes Archers. Or lizard men. Then, oh, I didn't even see that was a mystic. Yes, I know there's an archer below me. Oh, it's a lizard archer below me too. So, um, something else that I want to work on for my next level up is that I've been noticing that I'm getting stun locked more often. So, what stun locking is is when you take hits so frequently. Oh, and it spawned again. You see what I mean by it's supposed to be spawning quite a bit, and I wasn't seeing it happen. Um, so, um, stun locking is from getting multiple attacks all at once. 
and I was seeing signs that it was starting to happen. That was the reason why I was spamming uh, haste in Corrigan's estate, by the way. It's because I was seeing myself starting to get stunlocked, and that place is fairly notorious for getting stunlocked. That'll work. Okay, now I think that's actually taken care of. Pretty sure there's nothing over here. Yeah. Where have I gone? Uh, everywhere except for the top corner. So, that, I guess where we're going. I really need the jump spell. I still don't have it, right? Yeah, that's the one I'm missing. So, um, I'm going to be mastering armor skill soon. Because mastering armor skill will remove the need to worry about stun locking. Because then you don't have a recovery time penalty for wearing armor. You still have a recovery time penalty in general uh, for getting hit. But that's nowhere near as big of a deal. And I think if you have haste up, it basically eliminates it entirely. Yes, I know that there's Bach coming. There's always Ba coming. Also, they're Ba. I really don't care about them. The only thing that Ba are useful for are stun locking me while other things hit me. Fanatic of Ba, okay. So how are you? Um, is this looking okay? Oh, I should take off my glasses. This is definitely close enough where I don't want my glasses on. Um, for reference, normally my face is about two feet away from a monitor. In this case, it's one foot away. Or for those of you that use a sane measurement system, normally I'm about 60 centimeters away from the monitor, now I'm about 30. And the reason for that is that this is a curved monitor. I think I just picked up a bow. I wasn't paying attention. Um... I don't think I can enter this place yet. The Will O' Wisp. And that's Castle Iron Fist. Castle Iron Fist is now cleared out. Uh, where should I go next? Oh, um. So, yeah, planning on mastering armor skills coming up soon. That's actually the huge bonus with wearing plate mail. It's not that plate is really good. I mean, it is, don't get me wrong. But it's the fact that you only need four ranks of plate to become a master. Uh, you just need to do the promotion quest for... I think it's... Is it Crusader to Hero? Or is that... Sword. Anyway, um, you don't need more than four ranks in plate. Ever. So this is the most efficient armor in the game. Uh, chain... I think you do need that. Let me check really fast. Do, 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 do. Chain is arg. Yep, 10 ranks. It just doesn't cost you any money, is what it is, and you have to be crusaders. Um, so you need 10 ranks in chain and 10 ranks in leather. I really hate throwing that many skill points at something that's effectively useless, but they don't have robes in this game, which would be the way you would want to do it in other games. I have very little time left on fly, I'm just going to land. Right, home button doesn't work. Um, so let's figure out what we want to do next. So let me pop open Town Portal really fast. So we've completely cleared out New Serpical with one island as an exception. We've completely cleared out Mist. We've now completely cleared out Castle Iron Fist. Um, we've completely cleared out Bootleg Bay. So these four are effectively complete. I could go try to do Garrick's Forge right now. Oh, can I actually pull this off without wanting to die? Um, Silver Cove... And White Cap and Freehaven would be good choices for me to go to for other places. And I do have a bunch of quests in Freehaven. So I think I'm going to go do that 
first. Because I don't want to do a council quest right now. Or I don't want to complete a council quest until after I've mastered light. Uh, I'm going to stop by these guilds. This is going to be a shopping episode, isn't it? All right, what do you have for Bonnie? Power Cure. Yes, please. That is the area of effect healing in this game. Oh, I'm poor. I should be a little careful as to what I'm picking up. Well, that's the only thing I'm going to pick up here. Okay. But it's important to have Power Cure. Oh, I just got fireballed. Ugh. Um, Guild of Air. I'm actually in range of the archers. I should probably deal with them. Um... Implosion, Lightning Bolt. You don't have what I'm looking for. Lightning Bolt. Fly, fly, Implosion, Implosion. You still don't have what I'm looking for. I'm looking for one specific spell, basically. Although, I'm also looking for Jump. This, oh... To be fair, I think I might prefer to fire one right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and just pick up jump here for now. So now I can finally jump. I forgot who I was going to have Day of the Gods on. Did I even pick up light magic? Oh yeah, I did pick up light magic on everybody. Uh, it was him, wasn't it? Yeah. He was going to be my dark magic person. Because you, oh, you do, or light magic. Are you going to be my dark magic person? Or light magic person? Well, you are now. Hey, the gods. Okay. This is the one that I want a very specific spell. And it's right here. Meteor Shower. Meteor Shower is one of the best offensive spells in this game. Um, it does a crap ton of damage outdoors at a long range. Um, it's... One of the three, what I refer to as ICBM spells, where you can actually cast them while you're in condition green on a group of enemies, depending on your CPU. Uh, Inferno's nice, too. I'm running low on money. I should conserve money. Should. Okay. Okay. There you go. You're missing one fire spell. I don't remember what that fire spell is. Um, it'd be a blue book, some variety, but no, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and pick up some water magic. What am I even missing in water magic at this point? Whatever that spell and that spell are. Uh, so that's ice blast and poison burst thingy. Acid burst, that's what it was. And ice blast. Uh, to be fair, Ice Blast is a really terrible spell, so I'd rather have Acid Burst. Okay. There we go. So, um, what was I doing? Right, I'm going to... Well, might as well continue shopping, because again, this is apparently a shopping video. You know what? I'm going to deal with those archers. I'm getting tired of this. Oops. That's what Meteor Shower does, by the way. I just, I didn't mean to actually cast it. So, watch and learn. Meteor Shower. Yes. I'm going to aim the Meteor Shower there. And... It's a really nice spell for dealing with large numbers of things. Acid Burst you. Acid Burst is also a quick spell, which helps. Although I think they might actually have more poison resistance than ice resistance. Because that's the way this game works. Yes. Um. Right, I only have four ranks of mind. That's not useful. 
I think a normal arrow would have done more damage. Yeah, I'm doing more damage using Ice Blast than Poison Burst. That's this game. Uh, so body, it would be harm. There we go. There we go. Now you will no longer piss me off. And this is where the shrine's at, but I obviously am not in the correct month for that. Okay, this is Guild of Spirit. What am I missing in Spirit that I care about? Raise dead. Shared life is nice, resurrection's nice, but I'm a bit low on money right now. So I'm just going to grab Raise dead. The rest of the, I mean, okay. Shared Life is a useful spell. I mean, it's actually the best area of effect healing in the game, but you have to invest a lot into Spirit Magic to make it the best, and it's usually not worth it. Okay. Um, something I wanted to investigate, because Creator had noticed. Hello. Yeah, they're back. Hmm. So I'm going to have to do some... Uh, whatchamacallit, uh, science to that. Here's Mind Magic Guild. What am I missing in mind that I might care about? I'm just curious to see what those other two spells are. Um, one of them is Psy Shock. Yeah, Psy Shock is the best magic attack in the game. It's not saying much, to be honest. It's not worth me picking up. I just want to see what the other one is. Cure Insanity. Okay, that one is actually worth me picking up. Because I am going to start needing it fast. Okay, I am Lepor again. Can I make some money through here? You are something I can buy. You are something I can buy. I do actually need daggers. But I'd like enchantable daggers, thanks. Uh, oh, that was actually... Dang it, me. I'm going to sell a new circle because I'm low on money. Um, plate armor of normalness. Ugh, those are some terrible prices. Okay... There's totally room, you just can't inventory. It's special. It's that one. And I am now very lay poor. Ugh. Let's hop over to New Serpical. Capitalism Emporium of the World. Switch back to Enchanted Item. All right, speed plus 10, fire resistance plus seven, double damage versus demons. I've never actually used any of the double damage weapons in this game. Oh, right. off of this whatsoever. <sighs> oh well. 
I need better merchant skill to be able to make money off of that, I think. Luck plus eight, yeah, that's cell bait. All of these are terrible items, but they are all weapons. Yeah, that was not worth the money I spent. Oh well, this is what happens with enchant item. Ugh, how close was I? Yeah, oh well. Okay, so, regrouping. Think about what I want to do. I need money badly. Best way to get money in the game. There is a quest to do that, but I don't want to do that until after I've mastered light magic. Mastering light magic is going to cost money, and I need to level up, which also costs money. So, um, Town Portal Mist, see if there's anything for sale, because this place at least I can make work financially. So I can at least buy at cost. That's enchantable. That's enchantable. That's enchantable. Uh, no. <laughs> Your stuff is terrible. Okay. Transfer enchantable things over. Resistance plus 10. Personality plus 11. That's actually pretty good. You're using regenerate. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that for a while. Spell points plus 11. So I would lose 6 armor but gain 5 spell points. That's worth it for me. And I forgot to sell a new circle again. Oh well. Also, let's just sell this longbow out of my inventory before I forget about it again. Okay. So, um, I have marginally more money, not significantly more. I still need money. Uh, let's see. I don't need that beacon anymore. I don't really need that beacon. Not with that one. There's nothing left in Bootleg Bay for me right now anyway. Um... Could go kill stuff in the Frozen Highlands. So, here's the situation. I need to wait until Sunday to be able to go master anything. Um, resting is going to take a week and a day, which will put me at March. Uh, where is March's? Uh, one note. Ah, why are you full screening? You are not what I told you to do. March is in Silver Cove. Okay, that's easy enough to get to. I'm not concerned about that. Um... There. Put it on the correct monitor. That actually looks rather nice there. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So, let me think. It's been 38 minutes and I've done pretty much nothing this uh, video. Great. Um, I don't want to go clear out Carrick's Forge. That place is scary. Um, there's no other dungeons in Castle Air in the three zones that I've already cleared out. I guess I'm gonna go fight in Freehaven. That's my only real option. So first, I'm going to go heal at the town. Well, because isn't this one spell points? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna waste power cure. That's fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and TP back to Freehaven again. Because this is hit points, right? Yeah. And let's start exploring Freehaven. And killing a bunch of stuff for its loot. Aw, yeah. Like true adventurers. So you'll notice that I didn't bother getting Hour of Power this time. It's really not worth it for me to grab. Okay. And there. Wrong button. 
Right button. See what I mean by it's such a nice spell? It makes things so much faster. I mean, yes, it costs a lot. Well, I didn't realize they dropped potions. Uh, it costs a lot of spell points, so it's not really worth doing a lot of the time. Like, for instance, where there's only four enemies visible, it's not worth doing. Especially four enemies that drop this easily. But loot and money. More importantly, money in this case. Group of archers. This is pretty much ideal for Meteor Shower. Thunk. Hey look, it's just the fire archer who's nearly dead. Again, Meteor Shower is some of the best is one of the best spells in the game. Uh, Starburst is a very similar spell. It technically does more damage, but it costs more MP. And it's electricity damage instead of fire, which in this game, more things resist fire than electricity. So totally worth casting that way. That is to the mire of the hell no. I'm basically just clearing, ooh, you are ripe. Starburst also has a wider spread, which is useful in some areas and less useful in others. Um, the reason why I really like the spell is that it's also useful against physically large targets. So uh, Meteor Shower and Starburst are really useful against dragons. Now that I have Meteor Shower, it is now possible for me to start killing dragons outdoors in Dragon Sand. And I could start doing that now. I prefer waiting until I also have Starburst. Since uh, red dragons are immune to fire, blue dragons are immune to ice, or to electricity. Two food. Okay. These are all lowercase rocks, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, pretty sure there's not much left over here other than up here. Should move as fast as I can. And right there. It's about the center. See what I mean? It's just so convenient. Just checking the random loot that I've been picking up. Useless loot. Okay. And that is back to Bootleg Bay. We've now looked at the good chunk of the map. I'm going to go north to finish that part of the map. How am I doing on fly? I've got time. This lighthouse here, I seem to remember, only has, was it like a spellmaster or something? Trapper. Tanning's a disgusting job. That's why I trap instead of tan. Yeah, trappers give you nothing. It is totally just flavor. Master Archer. So Master Archer is the middle one. So the color scheme isn't... Uh, um necessarily consistent you'll notice that um for like for instance the mages the blue ones are the high level ones the green ones are the middle ones and the red ones are the easy ones um in the case of archers blue ones are the easy ones red ones are the middle ones green ones are the higher ones and for the case of priests the red ones are the high one you get the idea they're not at all consistent in this game Oh, that's my housemate. Okay, I was like, what is that noise? Okay. So, let us continue on. We're at 44 minutes. I think we'll probably just clear out the... So, if I can get them all right over in the middle, I don't think I'm going to be able to lure them up like that very easily. So, this is a trick that I tend to do to optimize my... Meteor shower. 
It's a lot harder to do with mages. Then move out, turn base mode, and I guess you're the middle one. I did actually pull it off, nice. There we go. There's the fireball going off. I really need to actually start doing the archer promotion quest, but I don't want to do any promotion quests right now because I don't want my reputation to increase. Because it's wasted. And you'll see why later. Here's the obelisk. One of the things I was looking for. You have to be very careful, by the way, with the spell in uh, for meteor shower that you don't hit yourself. It's really easy to hit yourself if you're in close range. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm flying. Flying creatures don't take as much damage from meteor shower because of the way the spell works. Uh, basically, the attacks hit the ground and explode. So if you're in the air, they have to literally hit you. This is where the Tomb of Etheric the Mad is, which is the quest that eh, yeah, I might as well go. I'm going to first hit this. I'm going to first lure all of these enemies nearby each other. Yeah, I need to recast fly. Before I just fall. See how many enemies there are? If I can get them all in a small area. So I'm basically staring at the minimap and moving in circles to try to lure them all into one small area. Then move back. Oh, nope. Don't want to go to Blackshire. And where's the epicenter of this place? It's probably this guy. Oops. I must not have had it moused over. Dang it. Oh, that was a bit of a waste. And now I'm basically out of magic. Oh. There's a temple of Ba right here. I'm just going to go there. Don't mind me. Yeah, ranged attackers are really hard to lure into a small circle like that. Or a small area. You can do it in turn-based mode. It's really hard to do it outside of turn-based mode. That's why I'm trying. I'm going to eat a little bit of a hit to get people closer. Then move forward, turn base mode, look down, aim, fire. Whee! You were hit by like one attack. Okay. Well, that helps. You're the next one I'm going to aim at. See, this makes going outdoors battles quite a bit faster. That's one of the reasons why I was waiting on clearing out Freehaven. Because I'm lazy. I'm on top of somebody, aren't I? Yep. I mean, mages aren't exactly hard. I'm not talking about boss level enemies or anything. There's very few enemies in outdoor maps that are actually difficult. Um, the sole exceptions being later on. But in any of the areas that we've been so far, no, these guys are easy. Uh, gargoyles are probably the most difficult thing in any of the zones that we've been to other than dragons and dragon sand. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of some loot while I'm waiting for them to catch up. And I'm going to hit this obelisk while I'm thinking about it because I have a tendency to forget about these. And then I go, okay, which obelisk am I missing? There we go. There's the obelisk puzzle for there. I think that means we've actually done the obelisk in each of the zones we've been to other than Silver Cove. I'm in green now. I'm back in yellow. 
Yes, I know those chests here. I will be grabbing them in a bit. Probably about now. Uh, mind magic, telekinesis, further chest. Mind magic, telekinesis, closer chest. See what I mean by telekinesis being so awesome? Money! That's salt bait. That is enchant bait. That is the highest level dagger in the game. That is absolutely enchant bait. That is not enchant bait, but I'm going to equip it. That's cell bait, that's cell bait, that's enchant bait. Valleys like that, like where I just walked through, are really good for Meteor Swarm also. Similar to why sparks work so well in corridors, it's because it will start bouncing off the walls. Um, in this case, there's just not enough enemies for me to care about Meteor Swarm here. There we go. So, since Feeble Mind actually works, that means that other spells would work, right? Hmm. This is the other dungeon that I know of. And suddenly dark. Um, here. Oh, I didn't mouse over properly. Dang it. Normally, since the pointer is normally like this, it's a lot easier to mouse over things. Um, in first person mode, it's actually hard. And this dungeon was. Dragon's Keep. Okay. This is also a dungeon that I have a quest for. And I've pretty much covered the map at this point. I'm going to go handle the enemies by the Temple of Ba, so I basically clear out everything around. See what I mean? They like to spread out because they're ranged. I don't like ranged attackers. It means that I can't meteor swarm them as easily. It's quite unfortunate. Uh, that's probably going to be as good of a meteor swarm as I'm going to get. Directly on the fire archer. Notice that it killed the fire archer in a single attack. My Meteor Swarm is so awesome. It's such high damage and an area of effect. Just die. They've got to have Poison Resistance. Just like everything else in this game. Do I have the Shield Spell by any chance? Because that would be kind of nice right about now. Now that I'm thinking about it. Air shield. Yep. It will have uh, damage from arrows. I mean, I don't really need it. It's just more convenient. I wish it just made arrows hit half as often. That'd be a lot easier. Because it's not the damage that I'm that concerned about usually. It's the stun. See how much slower this is without using Meteor Swarm? Ah, huh. that Meteor Swarm just failed. I mean, that happens occasionally, but I don't normally see it like this. I'm just going to melee things. It's faster. There's not that many left anyway. I'm not exactly at risk of being hurt or anything. And I do more damage in melee than I do out of range. Unless if I use Meteor Swarm. There we go. Loot. Oops. I fell a little bit too much. Falling damage is real, folks. See how much money I have now just from clearing out enemies? This is why I tend to clear out entire zones. There we 
go. I'm still saintly. I think saintly is a thousand rep. And oh, north. I am still missing north. And I think uh, I've got a little bit over here, and then I have completely cleared out the zone. So the next adventure will probably be both of these dungeons, because I seem to remember they're fairly short. Um, I'm already off the side of the map. That's right. These folks. The perfect location for Meteor Swarm. Yeah, I hit myself slightly, but not a big deal. And they also say things like, oh, I'm sorry, whenever you hit yourself. Acid Burst for 61. I really wish I saw more of the rolls that happen for these things, so I know if, like, their resistance is. That Ice Bolt was for two. They obviously succeeded at resisting. are going to start climbing the mountain if I don't hurry up. Yep, they've already climbed. And this is the third dungeon for reference. Um, this is a promotion quest dungeon. So I will not be doing this because all I can do is clear it out for the time being. Although that's not actually that bad of an idea, is just clear it out. Um, this is the Temple of the Moon. So remember when I had mentioned earlier that there was historically this great battle between the Temple of the Sun and the Temple of the Moon? This is the Temple of the Moon, and this contains Cedric Drother's group of druids, which this is where I'm supposed to go defile the altar. Um, also, I think this is, is this also where the druid promotion quest is? Or am I mixing those up? I can totally be mixing those up. I don't have any druids in my party, so I'm less concerned about doing it. It's still money and er, it's still experience, and it's loot, so it's always nice. All of these bows are terrible. Let's finish up by enchanting some things. I hope that dagger turns out well. Increased rate of recovery. I will take that. That's cellmate. That is of doom. Sad thing is, that's actually not that bad. Um, I may just... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I mean, I like the plus 11 accuracy, don't get me wrong. But plus 10 accuracy versus plus 1 to everything else and plus 10 armor. I'm going to take the armor in this case. This is all cell bait. I should sell some things first. I'm not going to because it's night. I don't have a place to sell things at night in Might Magic 6. You could totally do that in 7 and 8. So um, Free Haven is now clear on the outside. We will do this next time for clearing out the inside. I think I need to go to the Dragoon's area first because that has an extremely nice quest reward in it. I mean, the Lich is also nice, but this is just... Because we will be gaining our first artifact of the game. Uh, technically, maybe I should hold off until I start doing dragon hunting, but oh well. It's actually an artifact I'll use, so not a big deal. So let's just move over to here. I don't even really need to... Um, I don't need to heal up in this case. I'm actually doing fairly well. So I'm going to stop here, start the upload of this video, and then basically come right back to it. I'll see you next time.